All right, so this one has been quite the fun one, but here it is in all its glory. What we first need to do is draw one of these finger things. Uh, to do that, you identify the center point or origin right here. It's kind of the center of the action. So we are going to draw this finger point using that as our origin. Now, to do this, I'm going to start off with a circle with a radius of six. Get my line tool, and I'm going to draw a 60-degree line with a length that's the full length of the whole thing. Um, I lied. We're going to do it from the center. we got to try and figure this out. So here, from the center point to this center point is six because it's half the diameter. Oh, no, 17 because it's half the diameter. Then it goes back six because this is going from center to this center point bisects this section, which is 12. So it goes out 14, out 17, down six. So that's 11. Then to this point, it's 11 plus 43. That's 54. Minus 6 is 48 plus 14. 14 is going to be half of 28. So 48 and 14, 62. So from the center to this endpoint is 62. Go back in here. Lock my angle at 60 degrees. Um, 62. Now the reason I can lock this at 60 degrees, this is saying 60 degrees off of the horizon. So if this is a 90 degree angle, I take out 60, that's 30 degrees. That's what I need. All right, great. Now that I have this, I can start making the sides of this using the offset tool, which I can't see. So I'm gonna type the command offset. And I'm going to offset this for the central channel, six, and for the outside of it, 14. Well on our way. Now we gotta get that, let's see, confirm it. Now using my line tool, I'm gonna identify those center points. So from here, this center point is going to be 17. Great. I'm going to draw, you can see the little green perpendicular sign. You can also see I messed up, so I got to undo. All right, line tool. From center, I have to specify an angle of 60, and then my distance is 17. Don't know why that was doing that. But now I can get my perpendicular mark and drop my radius. Okay. Now, for that other point, it's going to be 43 minus, let's see, from this center point, minus 6 is 37 to the end, minus 6. Let's go 34. No, 31. So from here, good. Now we're going to get our circle tool and we're going to just copy this. I say copy, but I mean, use your center point, draw the radius. Some days, here we go. I'm gonna use the real center point, radius of six, that's good. Now we're gonna draw one more circle using the center point that goes out to the furthest radius. Good. We have the whole thing done now. So now we can get our trim tool and we'll just clean it up. 
so it looks nice. Just the way we want it. That's good. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. And that one. Get rid of this. This. This, this, this. Good. Now I just gotta get rid of these. We have it. It's our center channel with that outside finger. And now we are going to use the array tool. So you can type array. It's also located at the bottom left of the draw tools. I can't see it down here with my video recorder. But now we go into array and we have to select our objects. So before I do that, I gotta clean this up. I got these little fragments. All right, array, select the objects, great, enter. Now we have to identify a polar array. So in that command line, go to polar and pick the center point. Now, we need to change a few things here before we're done, because yeah, it's the correct angle. It's 60 degrees, but it's making too many parts for us. So first thing you want to do is not make an associative array. An associative array will not let you edit it once you are done. So we are going to add fillets to it later. We do not want it to be associative. Uh, let's go. Items. We should have three. Enter. Good. Angle between is going to be 60, just like our diagram. Now, it gives us a little bit of a mess, but I got a fix for it. Don't you worry. It turns out you can rotate your items, but it's, uh, oh, well, I just said no. Now I'm going to say yes. It fixes. So don't, don't do that. Don't do the rotate items. Levels, you don't really play with anything else. Just get it this way because we can work with this. We're going to exit. And now I'm going to flip this over using this as my mirror line. So I go to the modify tool, mirror, select my objects. I'm holding shift, selecting all the objects. Okay, confirm selection. First point of mirror line, second point of mirror line, just like that. Array source objects, yes. Now we have all the pieces where we need them and we can edit them. So let's get that fillet tool and we are going to do a fillet of seven. First object here, second object here. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Radius of seven here and here. Good. Now we are cooking with gas. At this point, we need to continue by making that rectangle to the side. Uh, how about I do that now? Am I still playing? All right, it's not letting me pause, so I'm going to do this live. Same kind of process. I'm going to use that line tool to figure out my center point. I'm going to do the same thing with the radii. So, um, yeah, let's do it like this. So that first one's going to be 17. First center point. Just drop the line. Second line from there is going to be 45 minus 12 is 32, 33. Good. Just drop my line just as a marker. Now I have my center points that I need to do this, but let's finish the rest of it saying the distance from the end of this to the end of the rectangle is, if you can see, 
6 plus 10, 16, nice and easy. So I get that line tool from here, 16. That's the end of my rectangle. All right. Now, I'm going to use the mirror again. I'm just going to draw half this thing and then uh, finish up the other half by mirroring. So from this point, I need a radius of 6. Circle command here, radius of 6. Good. Now, uh, with this line, you know what? I'm going to offset. No mirror needed. Offset. This line. Nope. 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 Rectangle. So my rectangle from the end to the end of this circle is 55. So it's going to be 55, and then looking at my diagram, 14. It says 14. That's my rectangle. Well, it says 28, but you're using half of it because we are going to mirror, turns out. So now I'm going to draw some tangent lines, just like that. Mirror. This. This. That's it. Confirm selection. First point. Second point. Do not erase the source objects. Now we get our trim tool. Just clean this up. I'm also going to get rid of the ends here. Okay, confirm, get that fillet tool. Now the radius of this is going to be 20. That radius is from here to here. Wonder if it'll keep going. Nope. Fillet, radius 20, here, click here. Now I've got two more radiuses, radii to do, and it's four. There. Let's do another one. Fill it. Radius four. I misclicked. Radius of four. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have got ourselves a match. Match made in heaven. Now you go and dimension your part so it can be ready for production.